BYM is a it's a 16 year old nonprofit public benefit organization, and what we are is a platform to identify, connect, and mobilize the next generation of leaders who are actually innovative and action oriented. Often, when we say brightest young minds, people think, oh, we look for the most academically gifted. While a lot of our alumni and delegates are incredibly intelligent and academically inclined people, we, we look for individuals that are action-oriented, as, as I just said, guys that have a demonstrated track record of getting things done. Um, you know, fr from our inception, we've been recognized as one of the only multidisciplinary, multiracial um, organizations that create such a platform. So, you know, I think it, it, it's hugely important to have conversations and dialogue around these issues. We look for people that have this demonstrated track record that I told you told you about. So. A lot of our, well, all of our delegates are running initiatives, getting things done, either in the businesses or organizations that they run or the businesses and associations, organizations that they're a part of. So people that get things done, that's, that, 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 that's the key element of a BYM. Obviously there are the, the age um, restrictions that we do have, that's people between the ages of 20 and 32. But other than that, action-oriented mindset and a track record. The target focus for with this is specifically about how do we change the future now? Uh, and it's, it's, it's really about social innovation. How do we deal with things like social inequality? How do we give people, all people, the same opportunities? Uh, how do you have inclusive education, for example? So we're really trying to deal with those things using you know, new technology, uh, and uh, uh, new ideas and which obviously the youngsters are far more uh, au fait with than some of us oldies. Earlier today we had Karen Cricker from Gibbs come through and talk to us about social innovation and the need for disruption and what that you know really really sparked in the room was that there is no need to just be an NGO that has no revenue or a corporate that only that's only after revenue. You can find that middle ground of doing business and, and benefiting society from that. I, I was reminded of a, of a quote that a friend of mine you know, says quite frequently, that doing business without profit is like eating soup with a fork. It'll keep you busy, but you'll always be hungry. And I think that's the sort of middle ground that social entrepreneurship is, is covering. And a lot of our delegates are social entrepreneurs or aspiring social entrepreneurs. So that's, a, that's an innovative thing that South Africa hasn't tapped quite, quite yet. Mm -hmm.